Blessings, chosen ones. I pray everyone is having an awesome day in the name of Jesus. I am going to start today off on part eight of wilderness season in the name of Jesus. I have a scripture I want to start off reading with you all, and that is in 2 Thessalonians verses 3 all the way down to 5. And then I also want to read Timothy verses 1 through nine in the name of Jesus. And so that is what I want to talk to you all today about. And I'm going to start off by reading second Thessalonians three, and it is titled pray for us. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified just as it is with you. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men for not all have faith. But the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. And we have confidence in the Lord concerning you, both that you do and will do the things we command you. Now may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. In the name, I'm sorry, you all, my shirt is just all squashed out of shape and everything. Y'all may hear a little noise too in the background. That's me cooking so you might hear <laughs> excuse me but what i want to say about this scripture is you all that we must continuously pray in the name of jesus we must never stop praying we pray without ceasing in the name of jesus and what he's saying that we must stay faithful to the lord he will establish and guard us from the evil one meaning that whatever you may go through don't let it get you down. Don't let it weigh on your heart. Always know and always remember that God is going to protect you from anyone who try to do evil to you in the name of Jesus. Because I know that things can go out. A lot of things go on in the world and sometimes people feel discouraged. And I want you all to know that you are protected from the evil one. And this is a part of the wilderness too. Everything that we, we have been talking about that I have been talking to you guys about teaching you all about, it is a part of the wilderness. This is the things that you are going to go through in the wilderness. So these are the things you need to know. Just continue to pray and just know that God is always there with you all in the name of Jesus. Let me see if there's something else I want to say about this scripture. Yes, that's it, you all. With this scripture, just keep your faith. Keep stay in alignment. With, keep staying in alignment with God's word. Let him direct you, your path. Stay filled up with faith in the name of Jesus. Stay in faith. No matter the circumstances and no matter what may go on, you must stay in faith. Keep walking in the wilderness with your head held high in the name of Jesus. Okay, you all now. In Timothy, this this verse 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the commandment of God, our Savior, and, and the Lord Jesus Christ, our hope. To Timothy, a true son in faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God, our Father, and Jesus Christ, our Lord. No other doctrine is the title of verses 3. It says, as I urge you when I went into Macedonia and remain in Ephesus, that you may charge some that they teach no other doctrine. That they teach no other doctrine, you all. Nor give heed to fables and endless gene gene genealogies, which cause disputes rather than godly edification, which is in faith. Now, the purpose of the commandment is love from a pure heart, from a good conscience, and from sincere, sincere faith. So we are to love from a good heart, a good conscience, and sincere faith we do not want to fake the funk in the name of jesus we do not want to be out here faking love faking it when we really don't mean it you all we want to love everybody I always remember that that is one of the second that is the second commandment and it is to love your neighbors as you love yourself so we want to make sure we are loving from a good heart we want to make sure that we are loving everyone righteously no matter what they may have done to you in the name of Jesus. It says now, 
No, I'm sorry, it says in six, from which some having strayed have turned aside to idle talk. So just because that's why he's telling us to love. It, Timothy saying love. It does not matter because some have strayed away. They have strayed away, but because someone stray, may stray away, that do not mean you stop loving them. That do not mean you stop caring for them in the name of Jesus. No, that don't mean you have to hang with this person every day, but you are to love everyone in the name of Jesus, no matter what. You are to love everyone. It says, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor the things which they affirm, but we know that the law is good if one uses uses it lawfully. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous person, but for, for the lawless and insubordinate, for the ungodly and for the sinners, for the unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for fornicators, for, for kidnappers, for liars, for perjurers, and what's to say? For some sodomites, sodomites. And if there is any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine, according to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust. So basically what Timothy is telling us that these are the ones, these, these laws don't go for the righteous in the name of Jesus. It don't go for us. You righteous, the laws don't go for you. Remember that if you are in Christ Jesus, no matter what you are, the righteous. You are righteous in the name of Jesus. Do not think you are not righteous because you may have slipped up and did something wrong. That's why I always tell you all, just quickly repent and keep moving forward. Do not think that because you made a mistake, God don't love you no more or you are out of alignment with God's word. If you know you are out of alignment with God's word, you repent. And you keep moving forward. You start all over re again. Remember, repent is just to change. Change your way of thinking. You're going to change the way you act. You're going to change the way you do, do things. That is all 